Caillou really liked preschool. He liked playtime, snack time, and story time. But his favorite time of all was... All right, everyone, let's tidy up. It's time for... Show and Tell! I brought an old-fashioned car. I've got a book about dinosaurs. You brought a dinosaur book last time. <laughs> yeah, but it was a different one. Clementine, did you forget to bring something for show and tell? Nope. I've got something to show, but it's a surprise. Kaya was very curious to see what Clementine's show and tell would be. Clementine, what would you like to show the class? how to do something. <gasps> oh. <gasps> wow. Oh, that's wonderful, Clementine. You learned to whistle. Caillou really wanted to be able to whistle, too. <gasps> hey! I did it! I did it! Caillou was embarrassed that he couldn't do something that his friends could do. How was your day, honey? Honey? I can't whistle! Whistling is very hard, Caillou. It took me ages to figure it out. Try puckering up more. Hmm, let me guess. You're pretending to be the wind. No. Blow birthday candles? You're a chipmunk with your cheeks full of nuts. <laughs> no. Caillou's trying to whistle. But now it's time to take a break and eat. Okay, Mommy. Just keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Clementine whistled and a doggy ran right up to her. I'm going to teach Gilbert to come when I whistle. Hmm. Let's give it a try. <laughs> it may take a bit of practice. I'm going to practice and practice and practice. <gasps> Rosie! Caillou practiced and practiced and practiced, but he still couldn't whistle. Oops. Time for bed, Caillou. I'm so proud of how hard you've been working at your whistling. But I still can't do it. Whistling is a very tricky thing. It can take a long, long time to learn how to do it. But Leo learned right away. Everyone learns at their own speed, Caillou. Don't worry, you'll get it eventually. Good night. He knew Daddy was right, but eventually sounded like such a long, long way off. <sighs> Good morning, Caillou. Caillou! Rosie, whistle! 
You can? <laughs> nice job, Rosie. Clementine just called Caillou. She's coming over to play after breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't want to play with Clementine. Why not? She can whistle, and I can't. Whether you can whistle or not, Clementine is your friend. You don't want to miss out on a fun time, do you? Mm. When Daddy put it like that, Caillou saw how silly he was behaving. <laughs> <laughs> Clementine's here! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to wiggle my ears. I can do it. See? Cool! It's not as cool as whistling. I tried and tried and tried, and I still can't do it. Oh, it takes a while. I worked at it for a whole week. You did? Hmm. Could you teach me how to whistle? Sure, but only if you teach me that wiggly ear trick. It's a deal! Caillou, let's get started. Caillou had realized it's easier to learn something new with a little help from a friend. Look, Mommy, look, Rosie. Look what Daddy bought for me. What is it, Caillou? Caillou was very excited to show Mommy what was in his shopping bag. Oh, roller skates. That looks like fun, Caillou. And good exercise, too. Yeah, that's why Daddy bought them for me. I can't wait to try them. <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> roller skating isn't for kitties, Gilbert. Rosie skate? <gasps> no, Rosie. You have to wait till you're bigger like me to learn how to roller skate. <laughs> Daddy, can we go roller skating now? Please, please, please. <laughs> okay, Caillou. Let's grab your helmet and safety pads and we'll go to the park. The park? But I thought we were going roller skating. We are. There's a special path at the park just for roller skaters and cyclists. There is? Yay! Here we are. What do you think, Caillou? I like it. Can I skate now? As soon as we get your stuff on. There we go. Skates, check. Knee pads, check. Wrist guards, elbow pads and helmet. Check, check, and check. Why do I need to wear all of this stuff? For safety, Caillou, in case you fall. Fall? <laughs> no way. Roller skating is easy. Watch me, Daddy. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Oops. Ouchie. Are you okay, Caillou? I'm okay. I just wish these skates weren't so wobbly. Whoa! Ah! I thought roller skating would be easy. Some activities are harder than others, Caillou. This is hard, all right. <laughs> It'll get easier, I promise. Whoa! As Caillou sat on the ground, he watched some of the bigger kids on their skates. He was amazed. <laughs> Whoa. I wish I could skate like them. You will be able to skate like them one day, Caillou. You just need a little practice. He wasn't convinced. 
He began to think he'd never learn how to roller skate. Caillou! Whoa! Whoa! Daniel! What are you doing here? Hey, Caillou. I'm trying out my new inline skates. They're very snazzy, Daniel. Maybe you'd like to have a pair like that one day, Caillou. Hmm. Caillou wasn't so sure. He could hardly skate in the ones he had. <laughs> How did you get to be so good, Daniel? Practice, I guess. I wasn't always good at skating. Really? Yeah. When I was about your age, I thought I would never learn how to roller skate. Whoa! Ugh. Oh man. Yeah, I used to fall all the time. But I practiced and I practiced. I guess I got pretty good at it. Suddenly, Caillou felt much better. If Daniel could become a good skater, then maybe he could too. He shoots and scores a goal! I could show you some tricks to help you learn. What do you say? Yes, please! If you stretch your arms out like this, it'll help you keep your balance. Hey, I'm not as wobbly. Now push off with one foot, like this, and then the other foot. Push and glide. Push and glide. That's it, Caillou. You're getting it. I'm still really wobbly. Hmm. I think I see the problem, Caillou. You're looking down at your feet while you're skating. My feet? That's right. If you look up at something else instead of your feet, you'll have better balance. But I don't know how to stop looking at my feet. I know. You can watch me while we play roller tag. Roller tag? Caillou loved tag, but he was worried he wouldn't be able to skate fast enough to catch Daniel. Don't worry. I won't skate fast. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> That's it! Come and get me! <laughs> huh? Whoa! Look out! Phew! <laughs> Come and get me! You can do it! Come on! <laughs> gotcha! Did you see that, Daddy? I'm skating! Way to go, Caillou! I knew you could do it! Yeah, you're doing awesome! Yeah, awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna keep practicing so I get even better! <laughs> yeah, then when I outgrow my skates, you can have them. Really? Wow! Thanks, Daniel! And you know what else? Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou learned that practicing could be lots of fun, especially when it's done with a friend. Honk, honk! Here's another load! Caillou liked playing trucks. The only thing he liked better was playing trucks with a friend. Caillou, there's fresh lemonade inside the truck stop. Yay! <laughs> Mommy, can you play trucks with me? Maybe later. I have to do some cleaning, and Rosie wants to help. It might take a while. Sweep. Hmm. Sweep. Okay. Sweep. 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 Hmm. <gasps> Hi there, 
Cricket, do you like trucks? Caillou was happy to meet a Cricket who seemed to like trucks, too. Do you want to play with me? Okay, I have more trucks in my room. I'll show you. Here's my dump truck. And here's a fire truck. Want to ride in the bucket? I'd better put you somewhere safe. I know. There. That's better. Oh, I guess you can't play chucks in there. Hey, are you hungry? I'll get you a snack. Caillou wasn't sure what crickets like to eat, so... He took a little of everything. Do you like raisins or cereal? Try an animal cracker. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's not a real lion. Caillou was proud of himself. He thought he was treating his new friend very well. You know, if you like it here, you can stay and live in my room. Sweep. Okay, if you want to. Sweep. 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 No, don't sweep that. Oh. Here, do you want a cracker? Cracker. Thank you. Hey, Rosie, why don't you go sweep the kitchen? <gasps> Gilbert, no! Stop! You'll scare him! Whoa! Say something? Daddy could see that Caillou was very worried. It's okay, Caillou. We'll try to find him. But he's so small and hard to see. That's true. Sometimes crickets are hard to see. That's why the best way to find one is with your ears. What sound does a cricket make? Hmm. Right. We have to listen for that sound and follow it until we find the cricket. Now, shh. Shh. That way! <gasps> He's somewhere in here. Good. Now, let's listen and look. <gasps> Ooh, it's just cereal. There he is! Easy. Gotcha! Yay, Daddy! Yay! It's a good thing he makes that sound. Do you know how he does it? He takes those two little wings on his back and rubs them together. 
I like the sound of crickets. Only not in the house. But I like playing with him. It's fun. I wonder if the cricket thinks being inside is fun. Caillou wasn't sure about that. Um, crickets like grass and trees, not cats and vacuum cleaners. He looks sad. Maybe I should take him back outside. I think that's a very good idea. Goodbye, Cricket. Bye-bye. <sighs> I guess I'm back to playing trucks by myself. Would it be okay if Rosie and I played too? Yeah, I'll get more trucks. <laughs> Caillou's Cricket was happy to be back where he belonged. Caillou and his family were out for a walk. But Caillou was walking a little slower than everyone else. Come on, Caillou. Try to catch up. Coming, Mommy. I... Whoa! Caillou had never seen shoes like these before. Slowpoke. Look at those shoes, Mommy. They light up. Can I get a pair? Hmm, they're very expensive, Caillou. And you've already got a good pair of shoes. But I want those ones. Well, maybe when you outgrow the ones you're wearing. Now, come on, Caillou. No more dawdling. Daddy and Rosie are waiting. Mommy, if I had those shoes, I'd be so fast I could run home. I'll be happy if you just stop dawdling and walk home. Please, can I get them? I'm sorry, Caillou. We can't spend money on shoes you don't really need. Now, we've got to get a move on, okay, Pumpkin? Caillou was a little disappointed, but he wasn't ready to give up just yet. I need those shoes, Daddy. If you buy them, I'll... I'll clean up my room. I'll clean it up today and tomorrow when it gets messy again. <laughs> You're supposed to clean up your room anyway, Sport. <sighs> I know, but look. You have lots of shoes. Well, that's because I don't outgrow my shoes like you do. Plus, I need different shoes for different things. These are my jogging shoes for jogging. And these... Are his stinky old shoes he wears when he's painting or gardening. <laughs> stinky! <laughs> They're not that stinky. Well, I can wear the light-up shoes just for running at night. The shoes you're wearing are running shoes, Caillou. And you have this old pair that you can wear, too. Now Caillou was very disappointed. He really wanted special shoes that lit up. Woohoo! <laughs> You're it! The next day, when Caillou went to preschool, he had almost forgotten about the shoes. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. Until... <gasps> Your shoes! Do you like them? Look, they light up when I walk. Those are the shoes I wanted. Tag, you're it. What? Did you forget? We were playing tag. You're it. No touchbacks. Caillou didn't move, even though he was it. He was too busy thinking about the shoes. Come on, Caillou, it's time to line up. Don't forget, Caillou. I'm coming to your house to play after preschool. Caillou? Oh, right. Okay. Are you too excited about your play date? Yes. What about you, Caillou? Caillou? Caillou hadn't even heard Mommy talking. He was too busy watching Clementine's shoes light up as she skipped along the sidewalk. Look, Mommy. Clementine has light up shoes. Yes, they're very spiffy, Clementine. Thank you. Can I get a pair? Please. See how they light up? If I had a pair, we wouldn't need a nightlight or a flashlight. We could use my shoes. I'm sorry, Caillou. You're just going to have to wait till you outgrow the ones you've got. Come on, Clementine. Do you want to help me build a mountain? We can drive our cars up and down it. 
Uh-uh. My shoes will get dirty in the sand. So? So, they're new shoes. I want to keep them clean. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's find something else to do. Hey, look! Puddles! Come on, Clementine. We can puddle jump. No, thanks. If my shoes get wet, the lights might stop flashing. Oh, I didn't think of that. Hmm. Caillou tried to think of something else they could play. I know! Soccer! Here, Clementine. Let's play. No! I might wreck the lights in my shoes if I kick the ball. Caillou was disappointed. It seemed like Clementine couldn't do anything in those shoes. Hey, I know what we can do. What? Ready? I'll race you to the other side of the yard. On your mark, get set, go! Caillou was sure Clementine would win in her fancy new shoes. until she ran around a patch of dirt instead of running through it. Hey, I won! I won! How come you stopped running? There was a big patch of dirt. I want to keep my new shoes new. Caillou thought for a minute about Clementine's new shoes, and he came to a very startling discovery. But you can't have any fun in those shoes. Yeah. I wish I hadn't outgrown my old pair. I know. Come on. My old shoes. Why don't you try these? It's okay to get them dirty. They fit great. Thanks. Having fun, guys? Yeah. Do Caillou's old shoes fit okay, Clementine? Yeah, they're great. Thanks again, Caillou. You're welcome. I decided I don't want new light-up shoes anymore, Mommy. You don't? How come? They're not as much fun as the shoes I've already got. Hey, Caillou, I'll race you to the tree. Ready, set, go! Caillou had learned that new isn't always better. The shoes he had were working out just fine. He didn't feel like playing hopscotch with Mommy and Rosie. He was waiting for his friend Sarah to get home. <gasps> Yay! Sarah's back! Now she can play! Caillou! Come and meet my new dog! Sarah has a dog! Can we go see? Of course! Doggy! <laughs> yes. Meet the newest <laughs> member of our family. <laughs> His name is Murphy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Hi, Murphy. Doggy nice. Yes, the doggy is very nice. Congratulations. Thanks. It'll be nice to have another family pet. Oh, and it looks like Murphy is eager to check out his new home. I'd better take him inside. Bye, Murphy. Nice meeting you. Do you want to come over and play with me? No, thanks. I want to show Murphy my room. Caillou was a little surprised that Sarah didn't want to play with him. He'd been waiting for her all morning. But maybe we can play together later, okay? Okay. So, who'd like to go to the park today? Me! Can we invite Sarah? Sure. I don't see why not. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Sarah. Do you want to come to the park with us? We can pretend the climber's a sailboat, just like last time. Um, no thanks. Again he was surprised. He couldn't believe Sarah didn't want to go to the park with him. Why not? I'm going to give Murphy a bath. 
You can stay and help me, if it's okay with your dad. Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to stay and give Murphy a bath. He'd been looking forward to his trip to the park. Well, um, okay. I guess it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Stay still, Murphy. <gasps> Murphy! <laughs> Isn't this great, Caillou? It's fun giving a dog a bath. Yeah, fun. <laughs> What's that smell? I don't know. Wet dog, I guess. So, how was it bathing Murphy? Wet and smelly. <gasps> <laughs> yes, it looks like you could use a bath now, too. Caillou, it's for you. Hi, Caillou. Do you want to come for a walk with me and my mom? Sure. Caillou loved going for walks with Sarah and her mom. <laughs> oh, and Murphy's coming, of course. <laughs> Do you want to play jump over the cracks with me, Sarah? No, thanks. How about I spy? Uh, uh, maybe later. Heal, Murphy, heal! <sighs> Sarah, can I walk Murphy? Well, okay, but he pulls a bit. I can handle it. I don't know what got into Murphy. I guess we have a lot more dog training to do. Like this, Caillou. Ugh. What's that one called? That yoga position is called Downward Facing Dog. Dog? No wonder I don't like it. Oh, that'll be Sarah. Sarah's coming over? Yes, didn't I tell you? We've agreed to watch Murphy this evening while Sarah and her family are out. Caillou wasn't very happy with Murphy. He wished he would go away so he and Sarah could play like they used to. Caillou, is everything okay? Not when Murphy is around. <sighs> Sarah never wants to play with me anymore. All she wants to do is play with Murphy. Oh, I see. Why do you think Sarah wants to spend so much time with her dog? I don't know. Maybe because she likes him better than me. Sarah still likes you very much. But Murphy is new to their family, and that's very exciting for her. Do you remember when Rosie was born? Even though Rosie was just a baby, all you wanted to do was play with your little sister. Yeah. But Murphy's a lot more drooly and hairy than Rosie. <laughs> That's true. But I'm sure Murphy can be just as much fun. <laughs> That's it, Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Caillou. You and Murphy sure look like you're having fun. Murphy's great! We played ball and went for a walk. And I'm even teaching him how to heal. Really? That's great! I can see why you like spending all your time with him. Well, I don't want to spend all my time with Murphy. I want to play with you, too. Do you want to come over tomorrow? Sure, we could play catch. And Murphy could play with us, too. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it, Murphy? And that's how Caillou learned he could be friends with Sarah and Murphy. Caillou 
and Rosie were having fun playing together. Rosie liked copying her big brother. Huh? Hey. Aww. <laughs> That's one sound you won't be able to copy, Rosie. Are you getting hungry, Caillou? Is it almost dinner time? It is, and it's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's pizza night! I love pizza night! Did somebody mention pizza night? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we make pizza tonight? But we always order pizza. It might be a nice change, Caillou. We have fresh dough in the refrigerator. And lots of yummy toppings, so we can make pizza just the way we like it. Caillou wasn't so sure. Making pizza seemed like it would take a long time. Wouldn't it be faster if the pizza man brought pizza to our house? Faster isn't always better, Caillou. Besides, there's nothing more fun than making homemade pizza. Okay, Mommy, I'm ready to help. First, you need to wash your hands. And you too, Rosie. <laughs> I think that's enough soap for now. Now that your hands are nice and clean, I have a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. Every chef needs an apron. Flowers! And a dinosaur, just like Rexy. <laughs> now we look like real chefs, Rosie. Here you go. You each get some pizza dough. This doesn't look like pizza. That's because we have to turn it into pizza. And to do that, <laughs> we have to knead and roll the dough. It feels squishy, like modeling clay. <laughs> you have pizza dough on your nose, Rosie, like a clown. <laughs> now, we're ready to roll the dough. Give it a try, Caillou. Back and forth with your rolling pin. It's working! It's getting flat! That's it, Caillou! <laughs> Look, Rosie! There's one big pizza and two little ones! Can I have my own pizza, Daddy? Both you and Rosie can have your own pizza. And you can decorate it. But first, we need to put on some tomato sauce. I can do that. Oh, no! I got sauce on my apron! That's all right, Caillou. That's what aprons are for, to help keep your clothes clean while you work in the kitchen. Rosie thought her apron needed some pizza sauce, too. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> okay, I think that's enough pizza sauce for now. It's time to put on the pizza toppings. Mmm, tomatoes, chicken, spinach, <laughs> onions, yuck! That's okay, Caillou. You don't have to put onions on your pizza. Caillou began decorating his pizza. He was being very careful not to let anyone see it. How's it going, Caillou? Great! I'm making a picture, but I want it to be a surprise. Do you like my pizza? It's a picture of me. Oh, yes, I can see that. It looks just like you, Caillou. I think it's time to put these pizzas in the oven. Can I help? Sorry, Caillou. This is a job for grown-ups. The oven is very hot. But you could help me set the timer. Okay. We'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Push this little button right here, Caillou. Now we'll wait for the timer to ring and tell us when the pizzas are done. Hmm. Caillou didn't want to wait for the pizzas to be done. He wanted to eat right away. I'm hungry too, Caillou, but you can't rush a good pizza. was growing tired of waiting for the timer to ring. Five more minutes. I don't think...
think these pizzas are ever going to cook, Mommy. Maybe we should play for a few minutes until they're done. I know! We can play restaurant! I'll be the waiter and you can be my customers, okay? Okay. Okay. I've never been to Caillou's Pizza Parlor before. <gasps> what a lovely place. My name is Caillou and I'll be your waiter. Can I take your pizza order? Sure. Let's see. We'd like to order 22 pizzas, please. We're very hungry. <laughs> okay. What would you like on them? Caillou was having fun being a waiter. He even <laughs> pretended to write down his customers' orders. Let's see. We'll have one with chicken and mushrooms. Peppers! That's right. Peppers. And how about a pineapple and ham pizza? <laughs> Or maybe a cauliflower and mashed potato pizza. Mashed potatoes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Soon Caillou was laughing so much, he forgot all about the real pizzas cooking in the oven. Until... <laughs> Our pizzas! They're ready! So... What do you think, Caillou? It's yummy. I think we should make pizza every Friday night. It sounds to me like Caillou's Pizza Parlor is a big success. <laughs> it sure is. And that's how Caillou learned that making food at home can be lots of fun. It was a sunny summer day and Caillou and Rosie were spending it with Grandma in her vegetable garden. What's this plant, Grandma? Those are Grandma's world-famous green beans. <laughs> That's silly. Beans can't be famous. Really? I always thought mine were. Caillou, look! Wow, Rosie, you found baby tomatoes. Rosie, no! You can't pick the tomatoes. They're still too small. Caillou was worried because he thought the tomatoes weren't ready to be picked yet. It's all right, Rosie. You can pick them. Caillou, these are cherry tomatoes. They're supposed to be small. Oh. <laughs> Oops. What's this, Grandma? That's my lettuce. Or at least it should be my lettuce. It looks like something's been nibbling at the leaves. Oh, well. Come on back to the house, you two. I've got a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. Bubbles! <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. Thanks. You're both very welcome. Maybe I can get some nice photos of the two of you blowing bubbles. Like this, Rosie. You have to blow. <gasps> <Woo -hoo. laughs> Say cheese. Caillou enjoyed having his picture taken. <laughs> he especially loved seeing the picture after. Can I see it, Grandma? Of course. What's that, Grandma? It's a bunny rabbit! So that's the rascal who's been eating my lettuce. Can I please take a picture of the rabbit? Please? I want to show it to Mommy when she comes to pick us up. Well, you can try. Rabbits tend to be camera shy. But with a little perseverance, you might get a picture. What's perseverance? Perseverance. It means to not quit doing something, even if it's hard. Caillou was sure he had lots of perseverance. Well then, here you go, Caillou. I promise to be careful with it, Grandma. Rosie, see Rabbit too? Shh! Rosie, you'll scare it away. Rabbit, come play! Rosie! Shh! Bunnies are afraid of loud noises, Rosie. So if you and Caillou wanted to come out from under the shed, you have to be very quiet. Quiet? Quiet? 
Rosie, what are you doing? Rosie, quiet bunny. <sighs> Caillou was getting frustrated with his little bunny sister. He knew that the rabbit wouldn't come out if she kept hopping around. Rosie, you have to be quiet and stand still. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Grandma, how can I take a picture with Rosie here? <laughs> Rosie, sweetie, let's you and I go and play with the bubbles. Bubbles! Huh? to take the bunny's picture, but he was feeling frustrated. Have you given up already? Yes. Hmm. Maybe you could try coaxing the rabbit out from under the shed with a nibble. A nibble? Yeah, Grandma. Why don't we use your lettuce? You're absolutely right. Let's go and see if we can pull up some lettuce for the rabbit. Rabbit snack. Rosie, how can you? No, Rosie, I can do it. <laughs> Ta da! Yay! <laughs> well done, Caillou. <laughs> waited and waited, hoping the rabbit would come out and eat the pieces of lettuce. <laughs> Say cheese, big fluffy clouds. Say cheese, flower. I don't think this bunny is ever going to come out. Say lettuce! <laughs> Grandma, I did it! I took a picture of the bunny rabbit! Good for you, Caillou. You kept at it, and you finally got what you wanted. Bunny rabbit! Caillou was very pleased with his picture. It was worth waiting for. I can't wait to show it to Mommy! Well, Caillou, you're just going to have to wait for that as well. <laughs> Caillou's mommy and daddy were going away on an overnight trip. <laughs> Rosie, come too! Something tells me you wouldn't be interested in a grown-up golf trip. <laughs> but who's going to take care of us? Don't you remember? Grandma and Grandpa are going to spend the night. Yay! Grandma, Grandpa! Yay! That's probably them now. Grandpa! Hi there, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. It's our pleasure. We're going to have lots of fun, aren't we, kids? Yeah! Fun! <laughs> have fun with Grandma and Grandpa. Watching Mommy and Daddy leave gave Caillou a funny feeling in his tummy. But Rosie felt even worse. No! Mommy, Daddy, no! Go! It's okay, Rosie. There, there, Rosie. We're 
we're going to have so much fun together. You and I and Grandpa and Caillou. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Caillou noticed how quiet the house was without Mommy and Daddy. Who's hungry for grilled cheese sandwiches? Me! Me! Mmm, <laughs> I'm hungry. Caillou loved grilled cheese sandwiches. He couldn't wait to eat lunch until Grandma served the sandwiches a little differently. That's not how Mommy makes them. She always cuts them straight across. Blue plate! Blue plate! And Mommy gives us blue plates with carrots, not celery. Not to worry. Grandpa and I just do things a little differently, but we'll work it out. Here you go. Oh, no. Those aren't for Caillou and Rosie. These ones are. Right, kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about these ones? For these? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Stop. That's right. Yay! There. Now everybody's happy. Caillou and Rosie were happy. Grandma's grilled cheese sandwiches were almost as good as Mommy's. Shoe, please. I sure can. That's not the way Mommy does it. It's a double knot to make sure they're nice and snug. There, see? Now they're <laughs> super tied, never to come undone shoes. Caillou still wasn't sure he liked how Grandpa tied his shoes. But they certainly were very snug. Where's my paddle boat? I can't find it, Caillou. How about Froggy? No, I always have a bath with my paddle boat. Well, maybe you'll just have to do things differently this time. Froggy here could be lots of fun. Caillou had to admit Froggy was kind of fun. <laughs> I don't want a different pair of jammies. I want my horsey jammies. But they're in the wash, Caillou. Oh, well, I like different jammies. Maybe they'll fit me. Hmm, how do you put on pajamas? Does this go on your head? Or maybe you wear this like a cape. Or how about backwards? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you wear jammies like this. Ah, so that's how it goes on. Let's see. Goldilocks and the Three Stairs. Bears! Oh, yes, bears it is. One day, Goldilocks said, what a beautiful house in the forest. That's not Goldilocks. Mommy and Daddy do the voices differently. Oh, you mean Goldilocks should sound like this? No, Goldilocks. How about like this? No. Goldilocks talks like this. Hi, I'm Goldilocks. Ooh, then Mama Bear should sound like, uh, I'm Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> no. no! Mama Bear talks like this. And Papa Bear talks like this. Can you like Grandma and Grandpa's new voices? <laughs> they were even sillier than Daddy's. <sighs> Oh, dear. We better finish this story. It's almost bedtime. Grandma, I know something different we could try. You do? What's that? Letting me and Rosie stay up late. <laughs> I think that might be a little too different for tonight. We're home! Hi. Did you have a nice trip? We sure did. 
<laughs> What's happening over here? Mommy! Daddy! Daddy! We've decided it's okay to do things differently, like sitting upside down. Ooh, that's right. But I think sitting right side up is still my favorite. Do Grandma and Grandpa have to go now? Grandma and Grandpa, no go! I think we can stay a bit longer. Yay! Yay! Now, who wants grilled cheese sandwiches? With carrots. Me! Me! Me too! Caillou and Rosie realize that doing things differently can be just as much fun. But if you think the jelly monster's funny, I've got something you'll really like. It's my favorite. Caillou was having fun looking at Daniel's comic collection. Until... Check it out. The mutant spider from cosmic space. It's about a real spider who turns into a mutant spider from cosmic space. After getting zapped by a bolt of space lightning. <gasps> Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to hear about a mutant spider from cosmic space. Daniel, do you have any other comment? a space meteor lands on him. Uh-huh. But I don't think and I... And then he gets zapped by more space lightning. He's so lucky. Here, you can borrow it for a while. Uh, that's okay, but... Caillou! Daniel! I'm home! Later, buddy. I gotta go. So, did you and Daniel have fun? Uh-huh. <gasps> Caillou tried to tell himself it was just a tiny spider, but he couldn't forget about Daniel's comic. What was that all about? I don't know. I'll go check on him. Feel better now, sweetheart? Uh-huh. Well, now that the storm's over, why don't you play with some of your toys? Okay, Mommy. thought it was a mutant spider from cosmic space in his toy chest. Until he realized... Oh, Augie, it's just you. Uh. Uh -huh. I found the towels, Mommy! There might be a spider lurking near the sofa. Ah, spider! Gilbert, quit scaring me! Caillou! Look at me! <laughs> Grab your rain boots, Caillou, and come outside! <laughs> Caillou wanted to play. But he was worried he might find a spider in his boot. Or worse, a mutant spider from cosmic space. Uh, sorry, Mommy. I have to, um, do some coloring. I got marker on my hands, Daddy. 
Well, it's a good thing we bought the washable kind. Come on in and give your hands a scrub. I'll see you when I get back from my run. <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Aren't you going to wash your hands? I don't want to. Why not? There's a... a spider in there. It's just a tiny household spider. It isn't anything to be afraid of. How do you know it isn't a mutant spider from cosmic space? A mutant spider? From cosmic space? Yeah, like in Daniel's comic book. You do know that comics are just made-up stories, right? They aren't real. <gasps> Daddy, no! Come on, little spider. I'll take you outside with me. You come too, Caillou. After you've washed your hands, there's something I want to show you. There's usually spiders around Mommy's plants, and these are perfectly harmless, not to mention interesting. Look! This is what a garden spider looks like. Let's see if we can find one. Aha! Here's one! Oh, and look! A Daddy Long Legs spider! Daddy Long Legs? Where? Right over here! His legs aren't that long. Not like the spider in the comic book. No, most real spiders are very tiny. You're much bigger than they are. So what else do you know about spiders? Well, they help protect the plants, they have eight legs, and they make fantastic webs. Wow! A spider made that? That's neat, in a creepy spider kind of way. So what do you think? Not so scary after all, right? No, I guess not. They're nothing like the spider in Daniel's comic book. You mean the mutant spider from Cosmic Space? <laughs> I guess you can't believe everything you read or everything you see. But if you still have that comic, I wouldn't mind taking a peek. Really? Sure. I love comic books. As long as you know they're not real, they can be lots of fun. <laughs> and then our mutant spider got all eight legs stuck in a giant gob of space goo. <laughs> Ew! Hey, keep reading. Caillou was no longer afraid of spiders, even ones from cosmic space. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun at preschool today, Caillou? Yes, and I have a surprise for you. A picture of Gilbert. Do you like it? I love it, Caillou. It looks just like him. We have a surprise for you, too. Grandpa's coming over, and he's going to take you somewhere special. That's probably him now. What? No hug, Caillou? <laughs> That's better. Now, I'll tell you. I'm going to take you bowling. Bowling? Caillou was surprised. He had never been bowling before. Isn't that for grown-ups? No, I learned how to bowl when I was your age. And now, I'm going to teach you at the bowling alley. The bowling alley? Couldn't we just bowl in the backyard? I think you'll really like the bowling alley, Caillou. It has bowling pins and balls, and it's a fun place to get some exercise. What do you say we give it a try? Okay. Here we are. At first, Caillou was a little nervous, especially when he heard the loud knocking of the pins. But when Caillou looked around, he was pleasantly surprised. Grandpa, look! It's my friend Sarah! Sarah! Seeing a friend at the bowling alley made Caillou feel even better. Are we going to play now, Grandpa? As soon as we get our shoes. Can't I wear my own shoes? I'm afraid not, Caillou. These are special shoes, made for bowling on the wooden alleys. 
This is my grandson's first time bowling. Well, you're in for a fun time there, laddie. Let's see. I'll put you in lane three. Lane three. Thanks, Seamus. Now you look like a champion bowler. So we each get a few practice balls. And here's where we get them from. It's called the ball return. To be careful when we're grabbing a ball. We don't want the balls to pinch our fingers. OK, Grandpa. I'll be careful. Now, do you see those pins? The idea of the game is to knock down as many pins as you can. Each pin is worth points. This computer will keep track of our points and tell us our score. Now watch your old grandpa. I'll show you how to throw the ball. Wow, grandpa, you knocked them all down. Indeed. When that happens, it's called a strike. Now, it's your turn to give it a try. Uh, it's heavy, Grandpa. Maybe you should roll the ball down the alley with both hands, like your friend Sarah. When the ball lands on the side like that, it's called a gutter ball. It happens to everyone, <laughs> even me. The trick is to aim the ball right down the middle. Try again. I did it! I knocked down a pin! Now Caillou was feeling more confident. <laughs> Hooray, Caillou! I knew you could do it. Now, there's one more thing I need to teach you. Really? What's that? My handy-dandy bowling high five. Now we're ready to play. Oh, do you think Sarah and her mom could play with us, Grandpa? Sure. I don't see why not. Let's ask them. Your mom is good, just like Grandpa. Look at all the strikes. She plays on a team with other bowlers. They get lots of practice. It's your turn, Caillou. Yeah! I knocked down a pin! That's the way, Caillou. Caillou, you're doing very well. Thanks again for the game. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Sarah. That was fun. I'm glad you think so, Caillou, because I have another surprise for you. Caillou could hardly wait to see what the next surprise would be. So, did you have a good game? We sure did. Caillou bowled a terrific game for a beginner. Well then, this is for you. For me? But I didn't win. Everybody wins when they come out and try something new, Caillou. You deserve a ribbon. Wow, thanks. And I threw the ball and knocked down the pins and we wore special shoes. And look, the nice man at the counter gave me a ribbon. I'm so proud of you, Caillou. Yes, it sounds like you had lots of fun at the bowling alley. I did! Does this mean you'll go bowling with me again? Yes! Can we go tomorrow? Caillou had learned that it's always good to try new things, like bowling. <laughs> Caillou and 
and Rosie were enjoying working on a puzzle together. Until... Hey! There's a piece missing! Good news, Caillou! I just spoke with Clementine's mommy. Clementine is coming over for the day. Yay! Clementine! <laughs> the puzzle piece. I was sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> That must be Clementine. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. What do you want to play? Cars or trains or... Actually, Caillou, I'm taking both you and Clementine rock climbing. Rock climbing? Caillou couldn't imagine Mommy taking him rock climbing. Surely he'd heard her wrong. The community center is having an open house today. I thought you might like to give their rock climbing wall a try. Caillou liked going to the community center, but he still wasn't so sure about rock climbing. I love rock climbing. I've been before. It's fun. Great. Why don't you kids get ready so we can get going? Hi, I'm Samantha. I'll be your instructor for the day. Are we ready to have some fun? Yes! Okay, now first, we need to get you fitted for some handy-dandy equipment. Come on over here. It's always important to wear the right shoes and helmets on the climbing wall. Hmm, these look to be about your size. Try them on. How do they feel? Great! <laughs> I feel like a real rock climber. Now it's your turn, Caillou. <gasps> Don't be shy. Try them on. It's okay, Caillou. There. Now you look like a real rock climber, too. But, um, they're too small. Are you sure, Caillou? They seem to fit fine. Let's try on your helmet. There, look. It's a perfect fit. Really? It feels, um, kind of big. He knew the shoes and helmet fit fine. He was just feeling a little nervous. But he didn't know how to tell anyone. I'm sure they're okay, Caillou. Now, my little climbers, we need to rub this chalk on our hands before we start climbing. I'm not allowed to draw on my hands. It's okay, Caillou. The chalk is so your hands won't be slippery. That's right. Here, we want you to have messy hands. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you the rock climbing wall. Yay! <sighs> so, what do you think? It looks like fun, right? Yes! Caillou was worried. The climbing wall wasn't as big as he imagined it, but it was still very tall. Can we climb now? <laughs> You're an eager beaver, aren't you? First, I need to show you how the harnesses and ropes work. This is how you'll be harnessed to the safety ropes. When you finish climbing the wall, you'll get a fun ride down to the bottom. Down? Don't worry. I'll be here the whole time in case you need any help. Okay, climbers. It's time to chalk and climb. Who wants to go first? Me, 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 me! Caillou wasn't ready to try rock climbing, but he hoped no one would notice. Caillou, this isn't hide-and-seek. It's rock climbing. <laughs> Let's get to the top and ring the bell. The top? You know, Caillou, rock climbing is actually much easier than it looks. 
Caillou finally decided he should tell Samantha and Mommy how he really felt. But it looks hard and scary. I'm glad you told me, Caillou, but I would never take you anywhere that wasn't safe. And it really is lots of fun. Hmm. You've climbed trees before, right, Caillou? At the park. What else have you climbed? Ladders with Daddy. Well, rock climbing is a lot like climbing a tree or a ladder. You climb one step at a time using the rocks for grips. This made Caillou feel much better. He was good at climbing trees and ladders. Maybe he could climb the rock wall. Do you think you could give it a try? I'll be here every step of the way. Okay. Remember, it's just like climbing a ladder, one step at a time. Caillou climbed up one step, and then another step, and another step. He was beginning to get good at it. I'm going to ring the bell first. <laughs> no way, I am. I did it, I really did it. Yay! Way to go. I knew you could. Way to go, guys! That was awesome! Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing really is lots of fun. Can, Can we, we go, go again? again? And that is how Caillou overcame his fear of rock climbing. always had a fun time at preschool, especially when he played catch with Leo. Come on over here. Hey, what's going on, Leo? Cool. Check out what Xavier brought for show and tell. Rolly racers. They're the coolest. They have doors that open, wheels that turn. They even make noise. Whoa! Wow! Cool. I've got four rolly racers already. And I'm going to the mall with my mommy and daddy to get another one today. Well, if I clean up the toys in my room first. Wow, Xavier. I like your car. It's not just a car. It's a rolly racer. Caillou couldn't wait to ask mommy and daddy if he could get his very own rolly racer's car. so many! Yes, it'll be hard to choose. Can I spend all of my birthday money? I think you'd better start with just one car for now. I know which one. I like that one. <laughs> the very next day, Many more kids showed up at preschool with rolly racers, including Caillou. Vroom, vroom. Uh, more rolly racers? Goodness! I think we'd better save the toys for show and tell, kids. Caillou just couldn't stop thinking about rolly racers. He wanted to play with them all day long. Hi, Caillou. Bye, Caillou. Whoa, look, Gilbert. There's a striped race car, and an ambulance, and a pickup truck. I think I want them all. <laughs> Caillou, dinner! Vroom! Vroom, vroom, vroom! Caillou, dinner! Vroom, zoom, vroom, vroom. <gasps> Caillou, Caillou, dinner! dinner. <laughs> vroom, zoom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> car! Car! Nuh-uh, it's not a car, Rosie. 
It's a roll eraser. Caillou, let's put the roll eraser in the garage until dinner's over. Can we go back to the mall this weekend? I want to buy more roll erasers. I can use the rest of my birthday money. I want this one and that one. Okay. Daddy and I will think about it. As long as you put the catalog away during dinner. Okay. Since we're all up, I was thinking about a family bike ride through the neighborhood. Sounds like fun. But I don't want to. I want to play with my roll eraser. Caillou, I think you've spent enough time with your roll eraser lately. Well, if you don't want to go biking, how about a trip to the park? I've got a better idea. Can we go back to the mall so I can get another roll eraser? You said you'd think about it. Please? Uh, let's put the mall on the maybe list. Oh. I've got it. How about swimming? Or a movie? Please, can we go to the mall? I'll do anything for another roll eraser. I'll, I'll even do chores. Okay, Caillou. Mommy and I will discuss a trip to the mall. Hooray! After you help me with a very special chore. You like toy cars so much, maybe you'd like to tinker with a real car. I've got some repairs to make. I could use an extra set of hands. Now, let's get to work. So, what does that one do? That one pops the hood. Want to see? So, when can we go to the mall? Wow! It looks just like the engine in my roll eraser, but bigger. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it needs some oil. <laughs> Ewy gooey. Do you think that's enough water? Small wrench. Small wrench. <laughs> Make sure they're tight, Daddy. Well, now that the car is clean, we should make sure you're clean, too. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. We better hurry if we want to go to the mall. It'll be closing soon. Caillou, are you ready to go to the mall? The mall? Um, do we have to? I thought you wanted to get another roll eraser car. I do, but I'm having fun working on the real car. Me too. Let's get back to work. Realize he didn't need to have another rolly racer toy in order to have fun. Caillou and Rosie were excited. Mommy and Daddy were taking them to the beach for the day. Perfect. I think we have everything we need. Wait, let's get some sunblock on before we go. <laughs> that tickles. Look, Mommy, the sun is hiding. I'm sure those clouds will drift away by the time we get to the beach. Now hop in. But soon it started raining. Caillou was worried he wouldn't get to play on the beach. Is the sun going to come out, Daddy? It's just a summer rain shower, Caillou. 
it'll stop by the time we get to the beach. <sighs> I hope. When the family arrived at the beach, it was still raining, just a little bit. Hmm, I don't know, kids. The beach looks awfully wet. Maybe we should head home and do something inside instead. No! We want to stay at the beach and have fun. Right, Rosie? Rosie, stay! Mommy, Daddy, look! The sun, see? It's peeking out. Please, can we play on the beach? We're here anyway. Okay, kids. We'll give it Yay! a try. This looks like a good spot. At least it's not crowded. Caillou was amazed at how different the beach looked without lots of people. Good thing we've got this sun umbrella to keep us dry. Yeah! Caillou wanted to laugh because Daddy looked so funny. But he was too worried Daddy might want to go home. <laughs> You're right, Rosie. Daddy made more rain. <laughs> Here you go, kids. Thanks. Thank you. Caillou felt happy. Everyone else seemed happy, too. He was sure they would have a wonderful day at the beach. Look, Daddy! Seagulls! Where? Oopsie! Ah, oh, now look at that. There's sand in my sandwich. <laughs> Caillou wanted to make Daddy feel better. You can share my sandwich, Daddy. That's very nice of you, Caillou. It sure is. But luckily, I brought plenty of sandwiches. Hey, looks like it finally stopped raining. Caillou was happy it had stopped raining. He wanted to go and play. Come on, Rosie. Let's see if the waves can catch us. Here it comes. Run! Oh, I... <laughs> Shell pretty! Yeah, let's show Mommy and Daddy! Even our towels are all wet. This isn't the fun time we were hoping for, is it? Well... Oh, my hat! Caillou was having fun on the beach, but it didn't look like Mommy and Daddy were having any fun at all. Maybe we should make it an early day and head home soon. Caillou didn't want to go home yet. He wanted to show Mommy and Daddy how much fun a day at the beach could be, even a rainy day. Look what we found! Say, that's a pretty nice clamshell. Let's go find more! Well, okay, just for a little while. I don't know why we were worried about the rain. We came to the beach to get wet anyway. Oh, no! Kids! My feet are gone! Where did they go? I know I had my feet at the picnic table. Do you think I left them in my sandals? <laughs> no! They're under the sand! <laughs> oh, phew! We found them! I'm so glad! <laughs> Look, Mommy! <laughs> we found Daddy's feet! Oh, pee you! Now what shall we do? They knew exactly what they wanted to do. All done. Do you like it, Daddy? I do. It's a terrific sand castle. Let's get a picture. Say cheese. <laughs> oh, 
my, I think the rain is coming back. This time, it really is time to go. So, did everyone have fun? Yeah! And what about Daddy? I sure did. You were right, Caillou. It was fun at the beach, even with all the rain. Yeah, I wish we could bring the beach home with us. Oh dear, it looks like Rosie is bringing the beach home with us. That day, Caillou taught Mommy and Daddy a lesson about making the most of a rainy day. We're almost there. Caillou and Leo were very excited. They were going to the ice rink <laughs> to play hockey together. Because you didn't have me for a goalie. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Clementine. Do you want to play hockey with us? Hockey? Um, no thanks. We're already playing ringette. Ring it? What's ring it? It's ringette. And it's really fun. Do you want to play with us? Caillou had never heard of Ringette before, but he didn't want to play that game. Can't we play hockey? <laughs> it's way more fun. Yeah. How do you know if you've never played Ringette? I don't know. It just is. Uh-huh. Sorry, but we're already in the middle of a game. Caillou and Leo tried to play hockey in the snow, but it wasn't the same as playing on the ice. <sighs> nice shot. Thanks. Come on, boys. It's time to start heading back home. How come you didn't want to play with Sarah and Clementine? Because they're playing ringette. We wanted to play hockey. Hockey's better. Yeah. Ringette sounds too easy. I like hockey too. But maybe you could have given ringette a chance. Did you know Mommy used to play it? Mommy played ringette? Yes, and she was very good at it. She never told me that. Mommy, what do you know about ringette? Ringette? Oh, I think I know a little something. <laughs> oh, oh, I haven't looked at these things in years. I used to be captain of my team. It was a lot of fun. Wow. So, how do you play? I'll show you. You know, I think this game is much better when it's played outside. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to try a ringette stick, Caillou? No, thanks. Yours doesn't have a blade, like mine. This is true. Ringette sticks don't have blades, which makes it easier to do this. <gasps> hey! How about a little game of keep away? Huh? You know, you might find it easier if you try a ringette stick instead of using that old hockey stick. Caillou had decided Mommy was right. He was curious to see what it was like to play with a ringette stick. So you just need to catch that ring with this stick? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can do that. Pass me the ring, Mommy. 
<gasps> I wasn't ready, but now I am. Caillou tried to catch the ring, but it was much harder than he thought. Harder than Caillou thought. Uh, I did it! Woohoo! Good job, Caillou. You're learning. Uh huh. Now it's my turn to pass. Oops. Sorry. No problem. Wow! How did you do that? I've had lots of practice, but it's not so easy, is it? Especially when you're playing on ice, trying to score on the goalie in net. A goalie? Hmm. Caillou suddenly realized that ringette sounded an awful lot like another sport he knew. <gasps> hockey. Ringette is a lot like hockey, Mommy. Yes, that's true. And just like hockey, it takes a lot of practice in order to get good at it. Practice, huh? The next day, Caillou and Leo arrived at the ice rink early with Daddy. Did you watch the hockey game last night, Leo? Yeah. Well, until I went to bed. But did you see that goal? It was great. Hi, guys. Looks like you got here first. So I guess it's your turn to have the rink. Is it okay if we play hockey with you? Nope. Sorry, you can't. <gasps> <gasps> but we can all play ringette together! <laughs> I'm sorry for not wanting to play ringette with you before. I didn't know what it was, but now I do. It's a lot like hockey. Really? It's like hockey? hockey, because it's just as much fun. Yeah! From that day on, Caillou was happy to try new games. <laughs> Caillou was enjoying his breakfast, but he couldn't wait to open up a new box of cereal. Mm -mm. Finished. Good job, Caillou. Now can we open the cereal box? Prize? You got the prize last time, Rosie. Now it's my turn. And the prize is... Ta-da! Cereal! Oh, Mommy. Where's the real prize? Right here. I hope it's stickers. Well, whatever it is, you can open it after you've finished eating your breakfast, okay? Okay. disappointed with his prize. He had wanted stickers, just like the ones Rosie had. So, Pumpkin, what prize did you get? It's a little shovel. I wanted stickers. Oh, dear. Well, I know something that will cheer you up. Jay is on his way over to play with you. Yay! Look, Caillou, I brought my truck. I've got a truck, too. Let me show you. <gasps> Those are the stickers I wanted. I got them in a cereal box. I might put them on my truck. Caillou really wanted those stickers. Suddenly, he had an idea. How about a trade? I'll give you this shovel for the stickers. A shovel? Uh, I don't know. Um, okay. It's a trade, and no trade backs. Right, no trade backs. Come on, let's play in the sandbox. Right after I show Rosie my stickers, they're just like hers. 
Caillou was very happy with his trade until he saw what Jay had done with the shovel. He had attached it to his truck, turning his toy into a... A bulldozer? How'd you do that? The shovel clips on. Now I can dig holes and make roads. <laughs> Caillou hadn't realized the shovel could attach to a toy truck. Now he wanted the shovel back. I'll trade you the stickers for the shovel. No way. We said no trade backs. But it was my shovel first. I didn't know it could clip onto a truck. Sorry. How about I trade you something else? No thanks. Later that morning, Caillou wanted a snack. Hi, Daddy. Hi. I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? There's some fruit on the table. Help yourselves. I'll trade you one of these apples for my shovel. No way! <clears throat> oh, well, you can have an apple anyway. That's right, Caillou. The fruit in the fruit bowl is for everyone, including our guests. Yeah, sorry, Jay. Here you go. Thanks. Much better. Thank you, Caillou. Hey, do you want to have a race around the house? Sure. Ready, set, go! Caillou couldn't help himself. He wanted to play with the shovel, even if Jay wasn't willing to trade for it. Uh, hey, I thought we were going to have a race. Caillou, you just wanted to play with my shovel. It was my shovel first. Well, if you're going to play with it, I want my stickers back. Okay, I'll play with my shovel on my truck. Vroom, vroom, vroom. was having a wonderful time playing with his truck and shovel. But his friend Jay wasn't having much fun at all. Jay, I'm sorry I took the shovel back. Yeah, sure. No, I am sorry. We made a trade, and you called no trade backs. So, here. Really? Thanks. You can have the stickers back if you want. Okay. And you can put one on your truck if you want. Sure. Looks good. Let's play truck drivers. I'll clear the path for your truck. Oh no, your bulldozer's stuck. No problem. You can dig me out. Really? Sure, it's my shovel. But whenever I'm here, we can play with it together. Okay? Okay. to dig you out! Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> Caillou had stuck to his word. After giving Jay his shovel back, the kids had much fun together. <laughs> <laughs>